Sego Mini. Rosie wakes up to a beautiful sunny day. And today isn't just a regular day, it's Easter, one of her favorite holidays. She heads outside to see what's going on in the neighborhood. Happy Easter, Harvey! Nice hat, Peanut. Happy Easter, Giant Pink Bunny! Wait, what? Giant Pink Bunny? Rosie has never seen a Giant Pink Bunny before. Happy Easter, Rosie! I'm Sunny Bunny, the Giant Pink Bunny says. Have you found any of the eggs I've hidden yet? Rosie is so excited she hops up and down. In fact, she kind of looks like a bunny herself for a minute. Oh, I love egg hunts. Thanks, Sunny Bunny. There are lots of treats to find, and I've even hidden a special chocolate bunny, too. See if you can find it. Have fun, Rosie. Sunny Bunny hops away. Boing, boing, boing. Rosie can't wait to get started. She puts her Easter basket on her head and starts looking for eggs. That's some good balancing. Oh, look, here's one, Rosie says. She pulls it out and wait a minute. That's no Easter egg. That's a water balloon. She flings it away and splat. Ah! Whoops, sorry, Hans. No problem, Rosie. I needed a bath anyway. Rosie continues through the neighborhood, looking for all the hidden treats from Sunny Bunny. Here's an Easter egg. And there's another one hiding in the tree. Rosie sees her friend Ginger at the house where all the neighborhood cats live. Good morning, Rosie, Ginger calls. Hi, Ginger. Did you find some eggs from Sunny Bunny yet? Yes, yeah. I did, Ginger says. There's a kitten here who loves to play with bunnies, so it's been an exciting day. Have fun filling your basket. Thanks, Ginger. As Rosie continues the egg hunt, she stops to give one to Nola. After all, it's always nice to share treats with friends. Oh, my favorite. Thank you, Rosie, dear. Rosie finds treats hiding all over the neighborhood. Some are up high. Some are inside. There are Easter eggs hiding everywhere. Rosie follows the sound of the music and finds eggs hiding over by the band, too. The musician's hands are busy, so Rosie decides to feed each of them a nice, tasty treat. They say thank you, but their mouths are full, so it sounds a lot more like muff muff. Rosie keeps going, and she finds an egg in a garage, in a chimney, and she even stops to find out what an Easter egg pizza tastes like. She adds one of her chocolate eggs to the pizza oven. When it's all done, she takes a bite of her brand new creation. It's cheesy, chocolatey, and a little weird, but it's pretty delicious. She also gobbles up a hot cross bun, a mamu cookie, and pasca bread too. Yum! As Rosie finds a few more eggs for her basket, she remembers Sunny Bunny telling her about a special chocolate bunny. Where could it be? Suddenly, Rosie remembers something. Wasn't there a kitten in the neighborhood who liked to play with bunnies? That must be it! To the cat house! Rosie runs down the street to the house where all the cats live, making sure she doesn't spill any eggs from her basket. She stops and rings the doorbell. And there, sitting on Gus the kitten's head, is the chocolate bunny. I got a bunny, Gus says proudly. I chased it and caught it all by myself. Good work, Gus. I've been looking everywhere for it, says Rosie. Oh, it's for you. Here's your bunny, Rosie. I hope you don't mind that I played with it a little. Not at all, Gus. Thanks for your help. Would you like a yarn ball so you can keep playing? I love yarn. Thanks, Rosie. This is the best day ever. Rosie still has some room in her tummy for one more treat. She gobbles up her chocolate bunny in one big bite. Happy Easter, Rosie! Sego Mini